Welcome to this presentation on using the self-review assignment to build your reflection essay. And I highly recommend that you do that assignment first before you come back and listen to this lecture because it'll make a lot more sense. So pause and go back if you need to, if you've already done it. Stick with me. All right, so here's where you're going to get to learn the method of my madness. I made you do the self review because essentially you're brainstorming and writing your essay while you do that assignment. And you may have already noticed the similarities of the self review to the graphic organizer. Uh, so questions one through three line up exactly with the requirements for your body paragraph about topic sentences. So what you wrote for those answers, you can just plug in to that body paragraph. You can copy and paste them there and build that paragraph. Question four is really what you need to include in your topic and summary sentence for that body paragraph. So you take what you wrote, revise it into a topic sentence and a summary sentence. They can't be the same, they can be similar, they need to have similar content, but you already have the ideas that you need in your answer four. Questions five through seven are what you need to include in the body paragraph about description. So you can copy and paste those over. And then number eight is, again, for your topic and summary sentence, the content revise them into topic and summary sentences, make sure the topic and summary sentences are different, feel different, they don't feel the exact same, but have similar content. And then question number nine, sneaky is your thesis statement if you got it into one sentence. And that one sentence should reflect your answers, like it should match the tone of what you said in one through eight, like if your opinion on how you feel about your topic sentences and descriptions doesn't match one through eight, you probably need to go back and redraft your overall opinion. But if you did your opinion in one sentence, you essentially wrote your thesis statement. So put it in your introduction paragraph and then add your two to three sentence overview of your voice essay, what that was about, and then you'll have your introduction. And so even though that uh, the thesis part looks in that box, like it's the majority of your introduction, keep in mind that it's not, it's one sentence. The majority of your introduction is actually the summary of what your voice essay was about. Now look at the conclusion. The conclusion is two to three sentence overview of what you discussed in your body paragraph. So give us an overview of what you talked about. It's kind of reiterating your topic and summary sentences for your body paragraphs, only in new and fresh ways. You're reminding us of what you said. So that is how you translate your self review to your graphic organizer. If you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. We are very happy to help you with that. That'd be a great thing to talk about in office hours or embedded tutor hours. Happy writing.